Hi guys, this is Stephanie and David. We are back to do another challenge. So, I am going to read a chapter of this book and hopefully if you have time, this book. And then I I'm sorry we kept you waiting and I'm going to read this paragraph to you guys. Black people share the good times and the bad times with the horse you love. Here's a taste of the drama to come. We were going along at a good pace, but the moment my feet touched the first part of the bridge, I felt sure there was something wrong. I dared not to go forward, and I made up. A bed stop. Go on, Beauty, said my master. He gave me a touch with the whip, but I dare not stir. He gave me a sharp cut. I jumped, but I dare not go forward. There's something wrong, sir, said John, and he sprang out of the dog cart and came to my head and looked. Try to move me, John. Come on, Beauty, what's the matter? Of course I could not tell you, but I knew very well that the bridge was not safe. Just then, a man at the toll gate on the other side ran out of the house, tossing his torch about like mad. Hoy, hoy, hoy! Hello, stop, he cried. What's the matter, shouted my master. The bridge is broken and the middle part of it. It is carried away. If you can't on, you'll be in the river. Thank God, said my master. You beauty, said John. And that was the story. And now we are going listen. to do questions. So now the first question is what was the girl's name? I'll give you ten seconds. Black Beauty. It's just beauty. So hi guys. We are back, so now, the answer for the first question was actually, her name was Beauty. I don't know why it says Black Beauty for the top, so it sounds like the girl's name was Black Beauty, but her name was Beauty. And the next question was, what was her father's name? John. You got it right. And what? Did her master beat her with um, a stick? Nope, it was a whip. Whip what? Whip. It's something you beat. And it's a loud noise. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. And we'll see you next time. It's good. Bye. Hi guys, we are here to do part two of our questions about these two books. We already read this book with one story which was called Black Beauty. So now we're going to do Peter Pan and we're going to do the first challenge. Sing them a song. Okay, I found the chapter. I found the chapter. It says, this is chapter one. Chapter one. Peter breaks through. All the children, except one, grew up. They soon know that they will grow up. And 
the way when she was this. One day, when she was two years old, she was playing in a garden and she plucked another flower and ran with it for her mother. I suppose she must have looked rather delightful for Mrs. Darling put her hand in her and cried, Oh, why can't you remain like this forever? This was all that passed between them on the subject. The henceforth, when do you know that she must grow up? You always know after you are two. Two is the beginning of the end. Of course they live at I four until Wendy came, her mother was the chief one. She was a lovely lady with a romantic, a romantic mind and such a sweet looking man. Her romantic mind was like a the tiny foxes. One within the other that comes from the puzzling east. However, many, however, many you discover there is always one more, and her sweet mocking mouth had one kiss on it that Wendy could never mouth. get. Though there it was, perfectly conspicuous in the right hand corner the way mr darling won the way mr darling won her was this the many gentlemen who had been boys when she was a girl discovered <coughs> simulation to Miss Lee, that they loved her, and they all ran to her house and proposed to her, except Mr. Darling, who took cap and nipped in bed, and so he got her. He got all over her, except the in my most my little pony, my little pony. He never knew my about pony. the box. It's from the time he my little pony is waiting for the kiss. Mm -hmm. oh, a lot of pages. So, instead of reading the whole chapter, we are going to read one page. And I just read the page, so let us um, do the questions. So, David, what was the name of Wendy's parents? Um, uh, Jeff. Uh, no, Mr. and Mrs. Watt. Mr. and Mrs. Watt. It was Mr. Mrs. and Mr. something. The answer I'm writing it. Oh, you're not seeing it. Did I do it? I read more. I did not read. Finish the sentence. Okay. I'm going to give you. I'm going to skip that question so you can do a last second think about it. As we were saying, let's do an easier question. Okay, this is really good. One day, when she was two years old, she was playing in a garden and she plucked up another flower and ran with it to her who? Who did she want to give the flower 
Okay. So who did you want to give it to? No, Can I give you options? Yeah. I'll give you options. Mum, Dad, or the boys who liked her? The boys who liked her. Wrong. She gave it to her mother. That's why her mother said, I wish you were a child forever. That's why. So, third, last, but not least, the last question. she why was Wendy the one that never grew up because she was little and the other people wasn't little no she they grew up but she stayed the same age she was two years old they were all two years old but they went three four five six seven eight nine ten up to ten but she stayed as two years old i'm gonna write it so that you can there's no one yes mm -hmm. What was the question again? What was the question again? Stephanie, what's the question again? Why did <coughs> why was Wendy the only one who stayed as a child? Because she was the tiniest, but the other people wasn't the tiniest. They were like Is that your name. final answer? Yeah, that's right. The real answer is, I think this is the real answer. It's because her mother shouted that she wanted Wendy because she wanted Wendy to be a child forever so she shouted that and then she just stayed the odd one out so that is the end of our video for today we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all next time good bye